Welcome GMB pros to another session, guys. Finishing off the week strong. Thank you to Carlos. Thank you to Riz. Uh, those that are here live, I appreciate you guys um, here uh, with, on GMB pros. Those that are catching the replay, uh, thank you for your guys' support. Uh, again, I, I'll repeat, GMB Pros, what it's about, I get asked almost on a daily basis, hey, what is GMB Pros about? What do you what do you guys uh, are all about? You know, basically I say GMB Pros, it's, it's a marketing entrepreneurs in different phases, right? Some are more advanced than others. And the goal here is that after each session, it's about, you know, 60 minutes that you're able to take like an aha moment, take a go nugget and go apply it for two things, one, to help your agency, the processes help you grow as an agency, or number two, help your clients grow, right? And today, you got me, guys. So one thing that I want to offer uh, is kind of like my experience. Some of you have seen me grow. Some of you have seen the growth where I was to where I am. It's no secret, guys. So I was a truck driver, class A truck driver, did it like forever, right? Um, and literally being, you know, did everything, right? Learned marketing, learned it really wide. And then I just kind of took the path of least resistance, what I was drawn to, what kind of like I picked up quick, you know, went through some changes. And I more did a niche of service versus niche of uh, 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 niching down of industry, right? And so, you know, I did the whole thing, right? You know, the cold emails, I did the, the cold calling, right? There's different stuff out there to get clients. You know, I did, uh, and I still do the Upwork, you know, uh, method. It's been super successful for me. Um, I know people that are still doing it that I've you know partnered up with that are are making money, getting clients from it. But with that being said, is making that transition to you know it was a side hustle, then turned into a freelancer, and then you know an agency. You know I met William. You know I was a client. Some of you that don't know the story, I was a client of William uh, Jones, aka uh, Rank Fortress at the time, right? And we met, uh, then we, we developed a friendship. Um, he helped me out, you know, asking questions. And then it's this partnership that, you know, we, we embarked upon. Um, so guys, so every journey or every step of the way, like I thought back, okay, what made the difference for me? And then I've jotted down what's made the, the difference for me. And, you know, I've had a lot of mentors along the way, right? Uh, William Jones. Mindsaw, Jasmine, um, Nick Berry. Uh, I've had you know a good handful. Jason and James. Um, you know a, a, a lot of people, right? And those that are, that I'm not mentioned, they they know you know you know who you are. That kind of took me under their wings, taught me certain things, and I applied. I know yesterday we talked about you know uh, Jonathan about being omnipresent and kind of taking an agency to seven figures and then starting all over and doing it now and kind of what the difference is. One of the things he said, watch that uh, one from yesterday was being quick to implement, right? Being quick to implement. And that is so true. So one of the things that I want to cover guys that makes the difference for me, there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 kind of phases that if you master these and you daisy chain them and you build a mastery on each and every one of these, I you're going to have a breakthrough and be successful. In my opinion, this is the steps that I take. So I'm giving you like, um, you know, how you can grow your agency, be successful to the point where you kind of, um, how can I say it, where you can leave your nine to five and do this uh, full time, right? That's everybody's like ultimate goal is to do this on a full time uh, basis, right? So, what are the processes? What are the 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 kind of the 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 goals taking from um, taking it from you know the 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 gold nuggets that I got from the beginning from the original GMB pros from talking to William and then developing polishing it and one thing i'm gonna um 
you know, suggest to you is mastering each and every one of these level and daisy chain them. And I'm telling you, it's going to make an impact on your business, on your personal level, because it's made it for me, this truck driver, right? This guy, you know, that, you know, ha is messed up, right? But you know what? It goes at it. It's consistent. Puts on his pants the same way you guys do, and is quick to implement. With one thing, I think that William can tell you about me is when he wants something done, Alfred, I need this done. It, it's like right now, right? We don't wait. It's quick. It's fast, right? Be quick to implement it. So hopefully, I'm going to cover these things, guys. Again, if you can build mastery on this, this is from my experience of what's made the difference. You know, from mentors, again, like I said, the William Joneses of the world, right, that have been there, that are ahead of you. And you, can, if you can implement these things, it will make a difference for you. One of them, and I'm going to go through them, and then I'll kind of go into each one of these. And guys, I started this series. Um, if you look at my old GMB pros, I kind of take each and every one of these, go a little bit deeper. So I'm going to try to polish it today. I just want to kind of give you the overview and then uh, as we go along these, I'll go in deep, a little bit of deeper, and I'll, I'm going to try to give you some resources today uh, that you can go in deeper into each and one of these. So first one, confidence, guys. You have to have that confidence. Uh, second one is your offer. You got to know your offer. You got to know your offer as far as being world class at what you do. Okay, and that could be whatever. And we'll get into that a little bit. Fulfillment, right? Uh, um, can you? be um, like a predictable fulfillment team, somebody that has your back, that can get results, that you, that you know the process. And we'll get into that fulfillment. Social proof, guys. We talked about that a little bit yesterday, being omnipresent every day, how to do that, right? So social proof. Master this. Communication, right? Follow-up. Okay, it's another one. Reporting. Reporting to your clients, right? Reporting. Um I call it never wonder. You never want to let your customers wonder where their money's going, what you're doing for them, what their results are. It should be black and white. So I call it never wonder. Goals. One of the things, if you go back to the GMB pros, and even now, um, since I've, I've been helping William, uh, goals. And again, I'm taking it from the perspective that what you want, you already know. And when you want it, you already know. Like we established that. I'm taking your coming. That's what you bring into the table. When I talk about goals, it's those two golden questions that you hear William talk about all the time. What are you willing to do to get it? And number two is what are you willing to give up to reach your goals? Guys, it's scary. Everybody can talk about it. And I'll go into a little bit deeper with how my experience on it, um, how it was, right? The truck driver, you know, making, you know, over a hundred thousand, making that decision. I got a mortgage just like everybody's. I got the car payments, the health insurance. I got the kids. I, you know, if you look, oh, here, here's the picture. There's a two-year-old, right? We just celebrated her birthday this weekend. Her birthday is November 1st, right? She just turned two. So I have all those fears and it's easier said than done. But guys, let me tell you, whew, it's it's once you get over it, it's amazing. So your goals, right? Um, and then putting in the work. There's no getting around that. Putting in the work, um, it, it's it's gonna be huge, huge. Um, and then this one has really made an impact to me. There's people in this group, the Rizzes of the group, the Brian's of the group, uh, the Harry's of the group, um, you know, the Cohen the Johns of the group, the Chris Palmers of the group. What I mean by this is, is surrounding yourself with winners, right? Surrounding yourself with winners. Because guys, and you heard some of the stories, of, you know, with William, the higher you get, it's just a different problem, just some different issues that you'll come across, right? But um, you got to surround yourself with winners, not with yes people, right? You don't want yes people. You want people that are, um, let me do this real quick, just in case. Um, you want people that are doing it, that are in the trenches with you, that, um, you know, that will build you up, right? Uh, not necessarily yes people, 
Okay. It's, you know, so we'll, we'll get into it deeper with, and those are the areas that for me have made the difference, right? Those are the, 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 the 11, you know, what was it again? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 things that made a difference for me. Okay. And I'm going to go into them a little bit. And then, um, if you guys have any questions on your particular situation, let me know. And I'll give you my perspective on, you know, how you can handle it, uh, you know, give you some other ideas on what you can do um, to get around that, to get you unstuck is basically what, what I'm trying to say. So the confidence thing, guys, when we all get into this, you know, we're learning, right? We're learning. We're not sure, you know, what to do, you know, and there's there's comes to a point where, um you do all the learning, right? And what you want to do is start implementing that stuff. Um, that way you can take it from like the theory to actually doing the thing to actually like knowing, right? That you're a master at that thing. So that confidence, you know, you got to move yourself from like I'm new or it's something new that I'm trying, you know, depending on your process. Um, and start taking it from learning to applying it to so you can understand that thing you just learned to mastering that thing, right? So you can build confidence. So when you speak to people, you know, Carlos, the Harrys, right? Depending the Riz, depending, I'm not an expert at everything, but you talk about process and sales and get with Riz and you'll see him light up. His whole demeanor, Harry, you talk about GMBs and you see Harry light up, right? And that's the confidence of what you're talking when you talk to a client, right? One of the things that Cohen taught me, and he, there's a phrase, I'm going to have him back on to kind of help us with this. You have to take that confidence of like, you have the goal, right? Remember this in your sales process when you're talking to people. You know, when, when you come to a point where like, man, why, you know, you're trying to convince them or not convince them, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. William, Brian, you're here for a reason. You know, I can get whatever result, website, SEO, ads, uh, you know, uh, marketing, right? You you know that you're here because I can get those results. You've seen me, my social media, right? If you've done what William asked you to do to optimize, he talked about LinkedIn last week, you know, Facebook, you've seen my social proof. You know, I got to go. What is it that's stopping you, right? You have that confidence that you have the gold. You have the answer of what they're looking for because you, you took in some of the step that takes me to step number two is the offer, right? Right? I'm telling you, Carlos, Riz, Harry, William, Joe, Brian, Rob, Mike, right? Zuber. The, we all offer something. Yeah, it's in marketing, but it's a little different. It's your area of expertise. It's your area of genius. And notice the words I'm using, the area of genius, world-class at it, that you know it's a recipe that when you stick something in it on the other side, you know what it is every time, no matter what, every single time. Somebody asked me today, Alfred, how important is it to niche down? This is why, this is why um you get this is why you get um the the that that um the niching down because you can offer the same thing and the four boxes you want to play with, right? Um you offer, um, you know, you figure out those offers. You don't have to make it up because it's that process. It's your offer and each and every one of those that you want to play. You heard Harry before. Hey, everybody's so focused on GMB. Everybody's so focused on, on a website. Now you want to play with both of them, play in both of all those four boxes because that's what's going to, God forbid, tomorrow Google X is one of those boxes. You got those three other ones. Okay, you have those three three other boxes that you can still produce for your clients, that you can still bring results for your clients. Trust me, I've learned the hard way with that, right? So getting your offer. And with that, like, guys, you hear it all the time and it's so true. Like, you want to know enough to talk about the thing, whatever it is, website, Google My Business, 
ads, right? Somebody falls into that category, content writing, backlinks, what other services out there, social media, whatever that thing is, you want to know enough, but don't get so caught up because it's going to come to a point. I'm telling you, it's about five to 15-ish clients. And that's where William Jones Marketing thrives. I'm telling you, I've talked to over and over agencies, freelancers, they get to that point of like, ah, customer service, ah, fulfillment, ah, phone call sales, like, ah, that's when we come in and you leverage. That's what I'm telling you. Don't get so caught up in like the fulfillment part. You have William Jones that we can take care of your website. AKA, by the way, we're not behind. AKA, fill out the onboarding form, guys. AKA, look at your dashboard, right? Know the process of your fulfillment, right? It, you know, it's no secret we've had trouble, but hey, man, we've polished this baby so good, guys. So good that you can, it's predictable. It's the same onboarding form. It's the same dashboard. It's the same. We're getting people answers, right? You're never guessing. We're In fact, we're ahead of schedule right now, but that's the beauty of the fulfillment. You don't have to like, ah, oh, how do I do this? Or ah, oh, how do I do that? Today, I got so... on a call. So Riz, FYI, you don't even know this yet, Alfredo, but uh, Riz yesterday told me, he said, why don't you make like a buyer's guide that's set by step so some people don't buy, if you will, to complete SEO package. I know what's his name, uh, Alex Hamozzi calls it a splinter offer, which I've been doing, but Riz told me, so why don't you put a buyer's guide together? It goes phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, phase five, phase six, and says everything we're doing. So I've already laid that out. And the ghost riders already writing it. Um, so we'll be able to have that as an ebook too for our sales process. But the reason I bring that up is like there are people that are going to mention stuff to you and you just have to learn to implement. It's like I tell people all the time, tell us how we can improve. We'll improve it. And then, uh, I mean, me and Riz had a talk yesterday. I mean, so it'll be done in a week. The, the yeah. guide, the step-by-step -step phases was laid out after I got off the messenger with Riz. I said, probably within two hours, I laid it out and had it over to the writer. So listening to your people, guys, guys, if you notice, <laughs> and people want you to win, surround yourself with winners. Like I was saying, people want you to win. Like, you know, William like said, man, you're a genius putting the hours, you know, for these calls. Guess where I got that from? The man right here, where's he at? Over here, this side, Riz. He he gave me that idea. Like, I don't, Alfred, I don't want to do the math. Just, I know I'm in this time zone. Boom, I'm going to show up that day, right? Because people want you to win. That's that fulfillment team, guys. William Jones Marketing wants you to win. So whatever the 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 obstacle is, the, the sticky point is, and here's the cool part. Remember I told you I was a customer of William Jones, so I know those sticky points. I took a call today. The guy didn't know how to get his registrar hosting and WordPress all dialed in so we can get it over to our team so we can make that site live. I got on a call and I did that. I'm telling you, it, the, it's that fulfillment part is knowing that you can pick up the phone in the States or after hours and somebody's going to get to you, whatever the problem is, right? So fulfillment, guys. I'm going to, I am here today. I was able to quit my job today, 1000% because of the man that he just spoke right now, William Jones and William Jones, AKA at the time was ranked fortress, right? And then other things that I was able to implement social proof. We talked about that last, last night, guys, take a look at that replay, social proof, your before and afters, your, your examples of your work, People are watching. I promise you they're watching, right? Talk to your client. Talk to your niche. I, again, I took a call today. Ryan, he, uh, he's having a hard time. Like he has the rank and rank. Man, is niching down. I feel like I'm getting limited. Man, if you break that, it, it, you know, we talked a little bit about that yesterday. You know, get that social proof. Communication, guys. Set up a wide but limited communication. So if you want to get a hold of me, guys, if you have problems with William Jones marketing and fulfillment and what's going on, okay, I'm going to go based on that. If you guys have spoken to me, I'm always going to default to the dashboard and the support ticket. But 
if you guys want to get a hold of me, if you need help, you got Facebook, you have my calendar, and essentially those two are it. Facebook Messenger and my calendar, right? Be, be careful with that, guys, because take it from experience. Then you have your email. Then they have your phone number. And then they have you on WhatsApp app. And then they have you, what's out of South Dallas? You know, Discord. Ah, right? And then they start adding up and you got to manage. Your whole day can go on managing the communication. Limit that. Make it wide but narrow. Hopefully that will, will make sense. Don't do the mistake I did. Manage very few of those, right? And keep it open. Let them get a hold of you. Follow up, guys, is huge. When you're prospecting, when you're prospecting, or when you tell your customer you're going to get back to that, I've made those mistakes. I've reassured this more up, especially with the next one, with the follow-up of the reports. William Jones Marketing, right now, we don't wait till the end of the month. Your blogs, boom, they're getting done before the end of the month. Your, your website built, boom, before time, they're getting set up, right? So um, reporting and communication is huge. One of the things I hear, and guys, I talk to business owners every day, all day long. One of the things that they complain about their marketing agency is these two things. They don't follow up. Then they don't report. And I've fallen short. I've shored this up within even my own agency. And then the next one that I'm about to mention, these all go on hand in hand. Follow communication and never let them wonder where their money's going, what you're doing, what are those links. I did a press release, get them those links. Hey, what is the, the analytics? What is the clicks? What is the CTR? What is this? What are we doing? What, why am I paying you? And it almost doesn't matter, guys, if their phone is ringing, okay? One thing with William, anything we offer, he vets it. Ask me how I know, right? He, Alfred, no, nope, I don't care what you, what you gotta, show me before and after, show me proof, show me how this is gonna help our clients, show me how this is gonna help our agencies. Never let them wonder what you're doing for, for people. Even with your figured out, I'm going to have a guy on here that's going to bring in a tool with, especially with GMB stuff, local stuff. But it's, it also has a part in there that reporting, get back to them, communicate with them. Hey, this is what I did. This is what I did. This is what I did. If you have our SEO package, you'll see those emails. Boom. Here's your 10 blogs for this month. Boom. Here's your, here's your website. Hey, I need this. Any little um, deliverable, we, we have them. Go ahead. Give you another sample. So Riz, um, I just sent you all of my SOPs. So that's 200 plus SOPs. Everything you think of that you're talking about, like how to set up a WordPress website, uh, Google search console, how to exclude your traffic out of Google search console, how to set up uh, GTAs, how to do Gmail, how to do keyword research, how to do mapping. It's all there, bro. So if you could, I mean, if you want to with that, obviously don't share it with everybody, but um, highlight the ones you think should go into the book. And what I'll do is I'll put those as well, kind of like a package with the step-by-step, uh, -step, the step-by-step -step, step -step guide, for example, that I sent over. Um, so if I could just jump in really quick, yeah. what I was thinking was, let's say you make this ebook, right? Where mm -hmm. somebody takes from beginning to end he's setting up his website does the and then he's like oh i got to do keyword research and then there you go you have a link on the side that says mm -hmm. if you don't know how to do your keyword research buy this gig you know and mm -hmm. then it's like set up wordpress website you don't know how to build a wordpress website here's a link here's the gig for that so i appreciate the sops but if you kind of see what i'm saying yeah the ebook, one the one the one that i'm making right now for example um just give you for example so the first phase the first part is it's the purpose of the seo buyer's guide is seo services is help potential clients understand the process um it gives them an education of seo market overview selection criteria pricing models roi considerations um questions to ask case studies glossary of terms um, but the first phase, like where I'm showing is like, uh, first and all the SEO process should always be an SEO audit. The SEO audit can be found under, and then it goes over to our, it explains the SEO audit and then goes over to, Hey, here's where you can get it. If you want it done, 
Um, you may also consider getting a 60 minute deep dive with William and it's found here. Um, after the FCA audit is done, next step is fixing all the technical SEO issues. And it talks about the technical SEO and what that is. And if you all know how to do that, here's where you get it. After the technical SEO fixes are complete, the next step is an SEO topical map. Explains an SEO topical map. If you don't know how to get it, here's where to get it. If they choose not to do a topical map, the next stage would be doing their own keyword research or a content plan. And I explained that. And here's where to get that. It's highly suggested that you book a call with William after each phase proceed, before proceeding to the next phase. Here's where you can do that. And then goes into phase two where it goes, of SES, continue to establish yourself as an authority um, in your known city. This will be done through a topical map and talks about topical map content packages. Talk about that. And then we talk about location pages. Then we talk about, um, you know, building out your geo centric pages and neighborhood pages. Then it goes on to phase three, phase three, GMB, G, you know, optimization. Talk about that. Next thing, GMB management, how to do that. What is it? And then uh, where to get it. And then phase four, establishing your brand. Um, and then talk about your social profiles, getting that set up. Oh, you don't know how to set that up? Let us do that. Uh, syndication networks. Talk about what a syndication network is. You all know how to do that? Let's do it for you. Then I talk about the local data aggregators because we're actually going to start selling local data aggregators and some other things. Um, where to get that? Where are they? Are? You know, basically this exactly what you're saying to an extent because otherwise it'll wind up being a like, you know, 500, 600 page book. Because yeah. <laughs> I actually have, for example, I have the ebook on... If you want to know how to do Squirrely SEO, I have one for Squirrely SEO, All-in-One SEO, uh, Rank Math SEO, Yoast SEO, um, all of it. But it's all broken down in smaller ebooks. And I do have other ones that are, you know, full-blown 200-page ebooks. But I you want it, I what I'll do is once I'm done, I'll send that over to you unless you take a look at it. And I hope you're picking up what William just dropped. So literally everything that I'm talking about, he's packaging it in his book. So that confidence, well, I don't know what to do or what to talk about. William has the book, the ebook that he's giving out. The offer, what to offer, what's the order, what's the phase? And and that did not happen if you actually talk to like uh um, Gary V talks about this. Uh, Alex Mosey talks about it. I was just reading by another guy, um, Jason Fox, I believe is on my Facebook page. He's like, you know what most people do that are high performers is they have a problem. They then go study the shit out of it. And then they document their process and then they teach it. Um, you know, the one person I learned about teaching from, I've said this before, is Chase Rayner. Um, you know, but the thing is he see something he gets really passionate about it loves it and then he goes and dives into it and that's all he talks about and teaches it teaches it teaches it and um the thing is like all of those sobs i just sent over is 200 of them we got it, i have 200 of the sops you only seen the ebooks 200 sops 200 thumbnails for instagram 200 powerpoint presentations Okay, so every single one of those I've documented and everything. So you constantly have content, constantly, okay, to push out there. It's like me and Riz were talking about some of the other days. Like the one thing you're going to have to get used to, bro, is you keep documenting, putting out content. You're going to have a lot of people that love you. And then you're going to also get some other people that don't, they're going to try to throw shade on you because you are, the more you put yourself out there, it's kind of like, if you ever went through a divorce, your friends come up and go, man, I saw that coming a mile away. I saw it a mile away, red flags everywhere, but they didn't say no damn nothing. <laughs> but as soon as you, as soon as you become public with stuff or you start going on YouTube and you start publishing and you start putting on Facebook and your social channels, everybody's an expert. Everybody, everybody wants to tell you you're doing keyword research wrong. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. Where the hell were y'all? Y'all haven't been posting shit. You know, but that's what happens. You got to get very, very confident. I got a lot of books. I could tell you if you want to know something about confidence and stuff, what books to read, everything else. There's a lot of them. But um, at least about sales, most people's like, 
You want number one reason why people can't sell high in I've sold 5,000. I've, I've sold up to what was it? Biggest day over a hundred grand in a DM DM, not a phone call, not a voice, nothing DM. Okay. Um, sit invoice paid invoice. Okay. The thing is most, the reason why most people can't sell high end products is because if I ask you, okay, when's the last time you invested in, let's say something that's going to cost you even $20,000 a year coaching. I'd never do that. That's why you're broke. That's why no one wants to buy from you because you're not even confident enough to spend it on your damn self and you want everybody else to spend it on you. The number one thing he's talking about right now is confidence, having confidence. Yes. So I'm well, off I was going to say, there's a, there's a guy who uh, I got a glimpse of. He was selling this thing called Agency in a Box. And it's basically mm -hmm. a sauna. Mm -hmm. And there's a link there and it goes straight to a legit mm -hmm. gig. It's mm -hmm. just crazy. Like literally you just give it to a VA and it just like goes and buys this different gig. So what? What Chase Crazy. used to, you know, one of the things I incorporated into like, like, um, Craig, I mean, Chris Palmer, I learned doing the walkthroughs. Chase taught me is like, teach people is like, for example, when you have to teach people is that this is how basic it has to be. Go to this URL, click here, then go to the top right hand side where it says log in, log in. And you teach people that. And then he had a spreadsheet. And I used to see Chase giving away spreadsheets. It's like, how are you getting so much traction on your YouTube channel, William? And it's like every single video, if you notice that, I open it the way Chris taught me. I close it and I go, drop a comment below and I'll give you my free spreadsheet. Where did I learn that shit from? Chase Rayner. Chase then took that spreadsheet. One of the things we used to do and he taught me, he said, Literally, you could have a list of every single SEO service and then have a video explaining the service, which I'm working on too. And then a link to buy the service if you don't want to do the service. And people, and they're like, well, I don't want to teach people how to do on page SEO because they'll do it. No, they won't because people are lazy. You could teach them, hey, the client wants to, you know, oh, I don't know. I can't buy that because I could do it myself. Oh, let me send you a video and ebook on how to do it yourself. I give you about two days, bro. You'll be back. You'll be back begging. <laughs> okay. So same thing. If you have a, you can uh, ebook, spreadsheet, everything else and have literally step by step, by step, by step, by step. But I'm working on all of that. So. 1,000%, guys, 1,000%. So take these gold nuggets, guys, apply it, you know, apply it. You know, put your goals down on paper, right? Uh, again, the the how I started with goals, that first section, guess who I got that from? Guess who, who gave that call? You don't believe me? Go listen to old G, uh, GMB Pro's um, uh, sessions, right? Okay, put in the work. And then the last one, guys, surrounding yourself with winners, right? Um, so here, some of, somebody asked about books, right? So here's some of the books that I'm reading, right? You'll see it, right? Here's one, right? Goldman. Here's a, another one. I just got this one, right? This You guys will see it out there. And, you know, I'm going to share something kind of like personal. Uh, I don't know if I can. Let me see. Yep. Guys. Here is Audible. I'm a member. I was a truck driver, right? I spent hours and hours behind that truck. Seven figure, the road less stupid. Uh, went to, you know, what to say when you talk to yourself, right? Here, William, where did I get this mm -hmm. one? <laughs> he literally just told me about this book. I ain't going to wait. He's telling me for a reason. Boom, jump on it, right? Uh, who ate the frog? There's, a, he's, there's this, another There's another one um, my mentor told me about who ate my, who ate the, you know, eat the frog. There's another one called who right. moved my cheese. Yeah. Who moved and my cheese here. is an old one. Yeah. It's <laughs> in here. Now my wife comes in here too as well. Some of this stuff. This is a great book. Start with why. <laughs> who asked that question? Who points this out at the beginning of everything, right? Essential. So, you know, somebody just because somebody asked about books. Right. These, this literally is the books that I would read. Oh, and, you know, who moved my cheese is somewhere in here. 
uh, traction, right? You see all of these. Look at the back of Williams, you know, book, million dollar. Oh, here, yeah, you want to hear? Here's this two more books, guys, right? Oh, this, how does it go? Can you guys see it? What? Oh, this yeah. one's backwards. Yeah, I just right? gave both of those to uh, Kirk. Yeah, I, I bought three of them. You guys know it's no secret, right? He was, if you buy three, give them away. I literally bought three and gave it to my little circle of friends. So you have surrounding yourself with winners. Oh. You have an accountability group, <laughs> you know, <laughs> seriously, right? If William, he's way ahead of me. You don't think I'm going to fall? He literally told me about that book. You saw, boom, done, bought it, yeah. right? constantly Fine. i got i literally have my wife last because every time i go outside i go to the today i went out to the i go to the beach and meditate every day i take four books with me four and i read a chapter from each one of them every day boom 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 right now i'm reading alex mosey grit gym launch i'm reading obstacles away i'm reading um i do a daily devotion of stoic stoicism and then i have another book and I read through all, all of them. One little chapter every day. It's enough. And then, of course, I read uh, 10 pages of my holy book. So, so guys, um, we're coming at 37. If you have a specific question, just let me know. With all this being said, we're here to help you get unstuck. You know, and that's why William Jones Marketing is here on whatever part of your journey it may be. You know, backlinks, website, SEO packages. And uh, somebody asked, but they got off. I left my calendar on here. If you need to, uh, if you have any problems, any yes, problems so with good. the onboarding form, WordPress, get on my calendar. I will get your product. I promise you, I will get your product on track and moving forward. When I'm at my goal, William says, Alfred, talk to these people. My number one goal is to get your product on target and throw it back onto William and the uh, outsource shark, the team that we have that do the fulfillment. I don't want you to have to worry about nothing. So you can just worry on sales and then learning the fulfillment, the onboarding process, like where's the sticky point? Set up a um, call with me, set up a call with William. Okay, we're on two different time zones, guys. My calendar is literally open almost seven days a week. There is no, on California time. Ask William, we have conversations at two in the morning. He looks yeah, at the calendar. So what, time, what time is it, bro? He's like, it's yeah. like 2 a.m. The same uh, thing with me lately. I've been staying up till um, one o'clock or so on calls. I promise you guys, we're here to help. We're here to help you get you unstuck, whether it be in order, whatever it may be. I put the, the link in here. I'm on Facebook. Stay plugged into the group. Stay plugged into the GMBs. I just talked to somebody. Man, I, I email. Don't email. Stop with the email. The emails don't get answered. It's Facebook. If you're my friend, reach out to me. Reach out like, to me on the calendar I'll give you, I'll or give the you support. A, give you a prime example. This guy, um, he's here right now. I'm not putting you on the spot, but okay, Ravi. Um, and the only reason I know is because I'm the one that actually sees the tickets come in. And I'll show you this. <laughs> I mean, this is this is just typical. I want to show you this real quick. So um, I'm trying to log in and it doesn't work, right? All right, the login, and I'll show you. So this... Oh, let's go to the website. I'm going to show you live so we could do this. I'm going to change your password, all that stuff even. So I have it and I'll send you the link as well. Um, Ravi, because you are here. And so we can show you. I mean, it's like I saw Alfredo just literally answered the guy inside while we're live yeah you know he he answered you know he answered the question so let's go ahead and show you this all right let's go support all right so if you go to and this is the one i just sent you ravi to um it's educational purposes not ever putting anybody down go support you can click on the store you can do, you know, you can do any multiple things. Let's click on the store. 
What do you know? I drop in my email. What's my password? What do you know? It works. So while I'm in here, I go over to my orders. I click on orders. What do you got? You got your order you just placed. All you got to do is hit start order. Once you hit start order, fill it out, hit review. Once you hit review, you'll hit submit. And we are done and we are golden. Boom, done. And that's what and that's what some clients will require. And that's one. The main thing I'm having like Alfredo do is really do that sort of thing. Because I have so much patience for certain things. Um. But I am, and I didn't tell you this, I am, for example, um, optimizing. I talk about optimizing shit, and I haven't even optimized a lot of my own shit, okay? Because you're so damn busy with everything else. But yesterday, what I do? Optimize. I went automated shit. I went, if you don't show up, as soon as you show up for an appointment, you're getting an email confirmation link. If you don't show, and then the day of, a reminder, you don't show up, you're getting a, you know, please reschedule SMS email. Okay, SMS and email. So automate shit, learn and implement. I don't care how you do it, just do it. Dennis, it's 2.38 a.m., love it. And got a lot of my Pakistani bros, they, they're up early. Mm -hmm. um, you should see my team, bro, that does my backlink and res. He sent me, I was like, this is why I love my Pakistani bros. I'm serious, man. You should see their setup. I'm like, you make me feel bad. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something about this now. And I have friends over there want me to come over to Pakistan, man. That's so and awesome. Dennis, want to, Dennis so. yes and yes. Yeah. You, you make make a loom video absolutely because some of them are visual. They hear it and they have that documentation, and then like they'll put it together and let you, what you can do it. I did it with mine have them write another one explaining it. So now they have theirs, right? And, and then, if you notice with the Loom videos, that's what I've, how I've been answering a lot of tickets lately too. When, when I've told, when I tell yeah. someone once how to do it, and to me, it's like this, I give you an example. Here's a, here's a Google sheet. Go make a copy of it. And for me, I go, okay, that's simple. Make a copy of it. Cause I've done it 50 million times. For most people, that is not that simple. So I do a Loom video, and the other way it explains, click file. This is where we go back to teaching. Click file. After you click file, click download, or you can click make copy and fill it out. And then once you fill it out, send it back to me. Easier. I make a Loom video. It takes me one minute. Say, here you go. Here's the link. Download it. Click this, click this, click this. You're good to go. And we do that all the time with Loom videos anymore. Even in, even in uh, the automated ticket response, it says, please watch this Loom video. You need to fill out your intake form because you don't know how many orders I got sitting there where people will buy stuff or specials and just let it sit there. And if they'll come around and say, well, I never received this and I ordered it from you. Well, because the intake form's just sitting there, bro, waiting on you. I had a guy yesterday, prime example, another one where I go, um, for example, said, um, I never received your calendar link after I booked a call. I said, bro, I'm telling you, my stuff, I got on point. You definitely received that calendar link. I sent him a screenshot, literally shows you when they came in. What page they came in, what form they found out, when the form was sent out, when the SMS was sent out. So you got it all. Sent that to him, and he looked in his damn uh, spam folder. Well, lo and behold, it was sitting right there. Didn't even check your phone for SMS. But, you know, automate, get as much as your system's done like that as possible. Ain't got to be perfect at start, but the thing is you need to document. Um, letting them write down the steps. Uh, yes, correct. Having them write down. It's like one of the things I learned from it's in one of these small books over here on social media is like when you're on a phone call with someone, which you should or even in their presence, especially is say, for example, say, Harry or Riz, do you mind if I um, write, take some notes while you're talking and you take notes and they think, oh, this guy really cares about what I'm saying. And then on top of it, you're <clears throat> documenting. So you know what your clients are asking. And then you can create content around the quote, you know, whatever questions they are asking. Because if they're asking it, 
other clients are also asking it. Like I would never think, why in the hell do I need to make a guide to document every little piece of shit that we do? Because there are some people that want to see it. They're not going to, they're obviously for the most part, not ever going to do it. But, you know, that way they know where to get it. You'll you'll thank us later. Believe me, you'll thank us later. And then, and here's another pro tip, um, Dennis. Like in my example, you know, Williams, like there's people uh, speak different languages, right? So even having them write it in their language and you document that. Now, you you know, you're taking the visual the I got to hear it and then I got to do it. Remember, one of the first steps for confidence, you learn the thing, then you do the thing that you learn so you can learn to do the thing. And then it moves into like mastering that thing. Right. So you, you, you're you you're reading it, you're viewing it, then you have them do it and then they master it. They polish that. And then that's when they master it and you got them dialed in. How many VAs do we have on the team now? Close or, to, I think, 80. 80. How do you get those people trained up? How, 80 people. I like- physically trained them. Like mon- this past week, I was teaching them. I'm not going to, you know, I'll tell you, but um, training them on niche edits. Like right now, I trained them on, okay, here's how. First thing you should do when we're doing backlinks is not go buy backlinks. It's actually... um. Find out your top three competitors. We're actually going to be going over this in class. Top three competitors, put all their backlinks in a, in a nice little Excel sheet. Hand this over to your VA. Go out, reach on every single one of them. Try to get all these backlinks. Then once we're done, we're getting all those backlinks. Then we can talk about citations. We can talk about guest posts. We can talk about EDU links. We can talk about all that stuff. But until this is done, why are you buying all that other stupid, you know, stupid shit? You haven't even done this. But... You know, Monday, I'm teaching them how to do advanced schema, which I know I've been mentioning too. And we are going to be, once you see it, it's so damn easy. Um, and then the next thing, like I'm teaching web 2.0s, niche edits, um, how to do the guest posts, all of it. So physically teach them how to do it. Sit down with them, show them how to do it. I show them, not tell them, show them. Then when they watch me, do you understand questions? Show me how to do it. Once they show me how to do it, then we can uh, proceed. So how can you access Zuber, Khan? How can you access all those ebooks online? You cannot. <laughs> I give them away uh, the SOPs and ebooks. I give them away per each class. I'm not giving them away all at one time, but I am about to send out an email, FYI. So if you are not on the email list, um, then let me know. But I'm going to send it out. So Lariz, is he even in the room anymore? I don't know, um, Riz. But um, he did write me and I wrote him back. Uh, most people make a loom, letting them write it down. I had another practical question. The project manager is seeing all messages, but if we want to talk to her, or ask her a question, where do we write that message? So if you're an outsource sharks, you book a customer service call. We have all that in there. So book a customer service call, Dennis. Um, and you can do that. You're and you're still in here, but just book a customer service call. You go on a phone call with Sam, and Sam will help you. Can you ever have just a random phone call with project manager? Nope. Um you can tag them on the project. I could show you exactly how we do this too, if you want. Since you're asking the question, I'm assuming you'll want it. Uh, let's show you. Because your job as the client is to do daily communication. Okay, these are just some of the projects we got. All right. So let's say they messaged me or whatever on my client and i just go in here like this one takes days to provide the link result not the citation charts before um when we're doing citations it takes a while this one it will work on this today i'll update you once it's done how do you tag someone 
on the project, you hit the at symbol and choose the person you want to tag like that. So, and um, I go through these on a daily basis. Y'all have, let's say a few here and there, I go through thousands of these. So, and this is kind of like a sauna, but we use proof hub. Same thing when I do, you know, orders or whatever, or geo stack, you know, you'll see the same thing in here. It's like when I do my orders, this is how I communicate with them. You know, amazing job. Thank you. Your job is honestly to go in there every day and communicate with them. This is not like your employees at a brick and mortar. If you had a brick and mortar business, your employees get to know you. They know what type of person you are. They know what type of music you like usually. Coffee you like, food you like, everything, because they're around you 24-7 a lot of the times. A VA does not have that opportunity. So your job is to go in there and communicate on a regular basis. Wax goes on, wax goes off. Correct. Yes, please. How can we access the ebooks? I'm going to send out an email. Just keep an eye out for it. And where do we book a call with Sam? Give me one second and I'll send that over to you. And if you ever want to know, hey, I want to get a hold of somebody and you don't know how to get a hold of somebody, just PM me and I will give it over to you i mean uh support call um so here's support uh, now this is what i'm talking about guys stay plugged in boom boom you're never gonna say william jones marketing does not handle their shit right communication communication just stay plugged in the last thing i said right surround yourself with winners stay plugged in guys hey the guy that came on earlier, I sent a bunch of emails. How many times have you, if you talk to me, I said default to the support ticket. If that goes off the rails, whatever, which I promise you, very unlikely, just call me, book a call with me. I'll get your shit on track. I promise you. It's like uh, we just had a guy say, for instance, give me one second. Hold on. And um, remember the guy, um, that was supposed to have a phone call, right? He's supposed to have a phone call, didn't have his phone call. Mm -hmm. And then he wants to say, you know, well, I was supposed to call and, and I knew exactly what it was. I was supposed to have a phone call and Alfredo never called me back. Nah, see, me and Alfredo already had this conversation. <laughs> you and your brother showed up on the call in the car. And I wrote you and I told you, I said, this time, please show up in front of your desk and then to the day was he right as he goes oh i went to look at the website and the website's down yes because we only wait for about a week for you to give me login information once you don't have that i back that sucker up because it's not going to waste my space on my server because you can't get your shit together so what happens is after we build it we back it up if i have to sit there and wait like for example harry's here harry or if i gotta wait for more than a week guess what harry comes back to me in two weeks i'm gonna say harry give me the login information i'll upload it on there and be uploaded on this site because i've already made a backup because i'm not waiting there are people i swear to god there are people that won't come back to you for months months that's some one she just this morning from a year ago so this way we have backups of every single thing. Um, this guy right here, for example, the Ravi, he just came in. He says, he keeps saying page not found. I sent him a new one. This is what he literally, and y'all saw me do it live. Okay, I'm going to show you. Now that he's saying this, I'm going to do it live. It keeps saying page not found. I sent him this. <gasps> what do you know? It's not page not found, bro. <laughs> and then what does he want? It This doesn't work. Refund my money. Gladly. And this is what William Jones will do every single time. I'll go into here. I'll push his order. Here's his order since he couldn't figure it out. And I'll go in here and I will delete the orders. I mean, but this type of thing happens all the time where someone will say something doesn't work 
And it's not that it generally, I mean, I hate to say it this way, but it's generally people will even come to not just with our VAs, but with VAs in general, people will say, man, I can't, you know, I know George even used to say this, but he'd be like, I've went through four or five VAs and just nothing ever works. Well, let me tell you something about this. There's one common denominator and it is not the VAs. It's generally speaking, you. It is not the VAs generally. It winds up being, you're not, I, I used to say this, it is not my job to help you understand it. Yes, it is. It is my job to help you understand it. You know, if I'm trying to teach you something, we'll do this live. If I'm trying to teach you something and I'm telling you how to do something and you don't get it after I literally walk you through it, then guess what? I need to re-explain it in a different way so you'll understand it. And then I'll go back into his thing and I'll tell him, say, refund is done, bro. You know, that's simple for me. Um, But that sort of thing happens a lot where people just don't, they don't comprehend basic stuff what amazes me even more is these are the type of people that run agencies <laughs> you know uh and i'll tell them refund done and orders canceled so um but nevertheless you're gonna have to get used to like tools like i constant i have loom right here constantly ready let's go you know, but um, SOPs, and I'm gonna be going over the system. One of the things we're gonna be going over probably next week, too, is I'm gonna show y'all how to create an SOP, what tools I use to create an SOP free versus not free. Uh, Rich Main, I don't sell Google reviews. Chris Palmer, go to him, but it's all about. Like I say, a lot of times, break things, break things, break them, because you'll find out the weaknesses. I just want to know how you keep everything straight in my brain. <laughs> Ask Alfredo that one, because I remember <laughs> when he first started, Matt, when he first started helping me out, he was like, I don't know how you did it for all those years. Because he started, he's like, I said, GME pros, and then you got the construction going on the house, and you got people coming after you, and you got to run the agency, and you got the VAs, and you got this, and this. Is. <laughs> How do you do it, man? No one, my, my wife, Lives. my wife, I heard some guy posted yesterday, he said, um, every man's dream, he was in front of a big computer, and he was doing work and stuff and his wife was bringing food like this he said every man's dream i said that's your dream that's my reality <laughs> so that's how i keep things together because without her forget about it uh matthew you're going crazy it's insane that's where most people start breaking stuff is they get about 20 or so clients and then they just can't handle it um yeah. because you know it's too much Without a team, it's too much, but you love it. Awesome. So, um, but yep. Yeah. Any so questions? Guys, yeah. Yeah. Pitch them in there. We're coming up to the hour mark. Um, so don't forget, those that are here, guys, don't be like the example we just gave. You have me. If you don't understand it, get on the calendar with me. Become friends on Facebook. I will literally show you how to do it. Right. I'm always going to default to that support ticket. Um, like I helped somebody today. Hey, can you send the, the support ticket for me? No, I want you to be updated. I want you to learn how to do it. And, you know, so guys, but you have me, I'll walk you through that seven days a week. And it'll be my pleasure to do so at that too. Right. That's why like I, that statement and William bringing that up. I don't know the lives. He's a husband. He's a father. All of that, guys. And, and let's and figure this, this out. Business. So what should we do now that we've given this guy a refund? We go, okay, he keeps saying the link isn't working. So let's figure out, is what he's saying accurate? Um, is what he's saying true? 
how do we figure that out? So let's go over to this and I'm going to message the client. This is my email, by the way. Uh, please fill this out ASAP. And you'll see this Loom video down here. So I'm going to send this to the client. I'm going to try one other thing because I want to see, okay, is this guy just not getting, is there something wrong? Is there, I mean, reset password and welcome email. So this is all the stuff you should be getting. So let me go open up my other email. So it's not just a matter of, if you will, tell the person, okay, you're crazy. Or it's not a matter of just, you know, hey, okay, you're, you know, you can't figure it out. I'll give you a refund. But is, are you not getting the email? Is the email sending the wrong link? Is the link broken like you're saying? I mean, you kind of want to, it's like, figure it out. Um, and that's the only way to do it is really go to the emails and see and reset it and see, you know, is he just, you know, I mean, because it's possible and you want to see. Um, is it, you know, is it going to spam? Where is it going? All right. So am I getting it? Am I getting it? Yeah, there we go. It is definitely there. So let's see. Okay. So this is how William knows William's not crazy. Okay. So you see the email right here where it was sent to me, my wife, fake email. Thank you. Please log in. Please fill this out ASAP. View online. Okay. If, if you hit view, what does it want you to do? <gasps> log in. All right. Let's go back. All right. It sent me the welcome email. What's the welcome email? It tells you your login, your password, everything. So now we know the system isn't broke. Once again, there's only one common denominator. <laughs> so, but we want to check. Therefore, we don't just tell the person, screw off, here's your money, whatever. And we don't say, well, maybe, maybe it is a broken link. Maybe something is wrong. We double check it. Therefore, we know our systems are good. So with that said, guys, we're here to support you. I hope that you got, you know, some gold nuggets. Remember all this that we're about is to how to obtain the customer, how to maintain the customer, how to retain the customer, right? Those three things, obtain, maintain, and retain the customer. Um, and, you know, we gave you guys some examples. Uh, we gave you guys different support options, guys. And, and I went through the 12, 11 phases of uh, what made a difference for me. So with that said, guys, have a great weekend. I appreciate everyone. Those are on the replay. I thank you for your guys' support. And with that said, much love, much success, and I'll see you on the next one.